After I was done with my mail call video yesterday, I looked up at the tree I was sitting under um, and noticed that everything else here is kind of leafing out. I don't even know if you can really see that, but I noticed this tree was not. And then I felt the bark and it was very soft. And you can kind of see where this tree is and it's on a hill and it, it's kind of leaning that way. So we got to get this guy down and not drop it over there um, today before we do any more building. And it looks like there are some really strong grapevines holding it up there onto this next tree which is what I've got the tarp tied off to. I'm gonna try to drop it right through there. And it's gonna get hung up in a lot of branches. So I'm gonna try to drop it through there. And <clears throat> regardless of which way it falls, I just don't want it to mess up my holes that I got dug over there. Um, Anyway, I'm going to try to drop it down there and then cut it up, limit, bucket. I don't know if I can't get it to fall, if it gets hung up, I'll run grab the forerunner, back it up here and pull it down like that. So yesterday, I, I kind of, you can see the bark is peeling off and I kind of chopped into it a couple of times and the bark is really soft and then if you listen it's got kind of a hear that kind of a hollow or a dull thud not like when you hit hardwood you hear that? And that's that's been cut down for a while, but it's not rotten. That's rotten. And you can see how soft that is. So my plan is to get the chainsaw. I'm going to try to push it that way. Actually, I don't want it to fall on my sight. I'm going to I'm going to try to I'm going to try to push it this way and just see what happens. Uh, I'm going to cut I'm going to do that undercut where I come in with the chainsaw on this side. It's going to get caught. I'm, i got to try to make it fall right through there. <sighs> so I'm going to do that where I, where I cut up. I don't cut at an angle this way and then in. I like to cut up and then in. And then when I start my, after I start my back cut, I've got some iron wedges and I'm gonna put that wedge in there and I'm gonna hit it with a sledgehammer to try to push it the way I want it to go. All right, let's get set up. Sometimes. You'll hear it when it <laughs> when it dies. 
when it gets warm, it'll... And also, usually, the blade will start running on its own. Now we're ready. All right, we got our wedge out. Well, the wood inside isn't as soft as I, as the outside, but it does. Actually, this wedge turned out, I did pretty good on this wedge. Usually my blade does like, or the bar, like I do three or four different angles. So that's what I was talking about. I like to, so it, it was in there like this. I like to come up and then flat. And it's uh, supposed to prevent um, whatever that really catastrophic felling is, barber chairing or something like that. So, and it's supposed to be one third, I think. If you watch the, the BC fellers training that I linked to in previous videos, it's where the uh, British Columbia lumberjacks, uh, it's training for them. And that's the, that's the training I watched. I just, I'm not good at keeping my bar straight. So there's no creaking or movement right now. I'm gonna do my back cut here. Um, I guess on this side, here. And then if I need to back out, I'll angle up that way. Or I could do it like this. Yeah, let's do it. I could do it from this side. And then I have that way to get out of here. But I'm not going to go all the way through. I'm going to put my wedge in. So let's do it. Yeah, you can see I turned it a couple of times there. Let's see what happens when we get this guy in here. I kind of want it to go like that. Right? So, I think that is pushing it the way I want it to go. Now what we have to do is take off some more of that hinge or the, the back cut. Right. 
Here we go. See what we have there. I'm probably on a bunch of different planes, and they're not meeting like they're supposed to be. Oh, it looks pretty good. I think. Get. I'm hearing some creaking. Trying to go, but it's going the wrong way. <laughs> and I think those uh, grapevines up there are holding it too. All right. So I'm going to try. get it to go this other way put another wedge right over here actually this one's not going in <laughs> it's cracking There we go. Go! Oh, keep going! There we go! Yeah! Oh, it's going exactly where I wanted it to. And getting stuck. So I went to this side of that tree. There we go. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Wow. That is exactly where I was trying to get that to go. So I got to tell you, that is the largest tree I've felled, fallen, felled. And it is also um, the first time I've had a tree leaning, remember? It was leaning like it wanted to fall right like that direction, like it wanted to land directly on that hole. And this is exactly where I was trying to get it to go. I'm extremely excited. I'm not gonna lie, I was scared. And uh, if we look here, my angles weren't too bad. This back cut could have been better. So here's my front cut. I was a little bit below it. I should have come up some. But here, this was my undercut. This cut should have been level with the crease, and it wasn't. I was a little bit low. Um, and then I drove my wedge in, and you could see where I was, well, the plunge cutting. You can see where I was doing the plunge cutting here to slowly get around this wedge and then I had plunge cut over here too this is plunge cut over here um, 
and then it sheared off exactly where I wanted it to. So now I guess we uh, limb and buck this guy. That was a successful mission. Do a quick follow up here. It started raining a little bit, but so I got down in there and sawed off the two big limbs that were sticking off the top. Uh, my cuts were pretty good actually. Uh, my saw got bound up on one of them because I didn't understand the, 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 the way the force was applied because the hinge is right there and I was undercutting it. Uh, but this was hanging off by itself. So I top cut the top one and it went, came off perfectly. And I thought it was binding, but I, there was too much weight back there over this lever. So I should have top cut the bottom one there also. But those are off and down there. Got some rope, and you know what I do. I'm gonna tie these off, drag these out of this ditch, and I'm gonna take all the bark off of this and let this dry out. Just like I did those guys over there. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but uh, might just end up these, you don't know. I mean, they, they might be some posts for something, might be firewood, who knows? That one over there worked really good as a mail call bench. All right, I'm not gonna make you guys watch all of this. This video is done, wrapped up. I'm gonna have to back the truck up here to... Oh, 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 oh. you guys are just waiting for me to fall. I'm gonna have to back the truck up here to drag that guy, I don't know, over there somewhere. I guess I could really leave it right there for now. It's not hurting anything. Uh, I should have moved. I have some uh, cedar posts over here that I was saving. You see that end down there still? Well, you can't see that far, can you? <laughs> had some cedar posts I was saving, and uh, this fell directly on them. I was letting these dry out over here. But now they're shorter. That's the stump to that one right there. You can see that one down there. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for today, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Do what you do. And I'll see you on the ridge. Okay.